Welcome to the drip. This is Scott. No need to touch anything, do anything on your end, guys. You did all that you needed. That was perfect. You found my video. You hit play. That brought us here. We're together again for another spectacular moment. Gosh, what's going to happen? Talk about a knife and look at things, go over things. Enjoy being inside on what's a rainy day for myself. So definitely very fitting that here we are finding each other at the drip. Not only the drip, but home of the 150% guarantee where 100% of the time I'm over 50% right. That's correct. It's probably a lot more, but... You know, I at least want to give you a good guarantee that uh, more times than not, I'm going to be right. We're not professionals here. We're basically crawling in this knife game, in this world. I'm with you guys. We're all in the same boat. Get our oars out. Let's start paddling. I can look into the horizon. I see the seagulls. I hear the sounds of the waves lapping against the side of the, the lifeboat. We are together. All right. Woo! Got that out of the way. Are you still with me? I'm on uh, Instagram. If you are Casey Blade Drip, give it a follow if you want to. If not, that's cool as well. Um, but we're at the important place, I guess, here in YouTube land. Uh, also, just wanted to mention Upper Hand Holsters. They're on Instagram. They've got a nice website. Really, really nice holsters. Nice. I, what kind of a word? That's nice. They're great. They're fantastic. All right, here we go. Onwards into the dark. We're going to be looking at one of our, well, I say our, but uh, one of my favorite knife companies. This is Benchmade. We're going to take a peek here at the Presidio 2. Yeah, this knife's been out for a while. I, at least five, six years. They've got different iterations, different sizes. Um, Benchmade, I'm really, especially the last few years, I like a lot of the different offerings that Benchmade has come out with. Every knife has a story, and this one was a long one. Now, well, this particular one I've had for... I would say about two months, so relatively new, hasn't had a lot of use on it. it uh, it's still a little stiff, actually. I've been flicking it using the axis lock, but it it's a little bit stiff. I put some oil on it to kind of lube it up a little bit. But uh, the more that you use it and flick it in and out, the better it's going to be. So, yeah. Um, here we are. This is made in the USA. Got a little maker's mark there of the butterfly. It's another thing that I do enjoy and like about Benchmade. Uh, years of experience, redesigns, different little things that they've added to this particular knife. Um, if you're a fan of a larger knife but you don't really want to have the beef in it, um, this is definitely a, a contender, guys, because it, I, we'll weigh it, we're going to measure, we're going to take a look at that stuff. It, um, let's do it right now. Since I brought that up, there's no need to wait on that. How's your guys' day? Are you guys doing good? It could be nighttime where you're at. It could be you're a night dweller, a day dweller, afternoon, who knows. Okay, the blade itself, three and a half cutting edge. Looks like we're at about 3.75 overall, if we're looking right here, uh, which is a decent size. And the handle itself is going to be pretty large. So we're looking at about, what, five inches to the end of the handle? Yeah. So overall, we're looking at uh, 8.75 about. Yeah, that is a big handle. Let's see what it weighs. All right. On. Five. 
five ounces. Let's do that again. Yep, five ounces. So not as heavy as I thought. I thought it was a little bit over that, but again, for being this size of a knife, I mean, we can look, it's got a pretty thick stock up here at the top. Uh, the Basically, they're losing a lot of weight on this thing by the, um, the handle itself, which is, it's like a black uh, molded carbon fiber elite handles is what they call them. So the blade itself, just kind of looking at uh, the knife in general, putting it in our hand, um, getting a feel, looking it over. A lot of you guys probably don't own this knife. I'm not sure if you've handled it before. But again, if you're outdoor doing, you know, any type of heavy work, construction, uh, and you need your knife a lot, this is a, it's, it's a heavy duty knife. It's a good size, dur it feels durable in the hand. Uh, Benchmade has really done a good job with this. And it does feel like, you know, a larger knife in your hand. Um, we got some nice thumb studs here. The makers marked the little butterfly Benchmade on the front of the show side here of the blade. Back we've got, uh, it's going to be the blade steel, which is going to be a S30V. Really good steel too. See, you have a little sharpening choil down here um, on the bottom of the blade. Really nicely done. I like the grind, too. It looks to me like it's almost kind of like a spear point. I think they say it's a drop point. Um, it's got a swedge here at the top of the blade, as you can see, where it kind of thins out, runs along the top, goes down to the point. It's going to be great for piercing, entering, slashing, See how we have that uh, nice drop point here at the forward or, or front edge of the blade. It's like a, a stainless satin bead blasted finish that's on the blade. I like how they do that because it actually really helps it with not showing wear on it. So this one... Uh, yeah, I mean, the more you use it and such. Now, I do have some finishes from Benchmade with this. Uh, but, of course, this knife, as I said, I have used this, carried it a few times. But not as much as I really would have liked to get a true feel for what it is. So with this, uh, the blade itself, again, very functional, very durable, large. The handle, uh, we do have the access lock here. If we look at the top of that, how thick and burly that is. I did put, hold on, I didn't put that hair there. I guess I did. Um, if we look up here at the, the back stop, how thick this is, I put some oil on there just to kind of, luber up a little bit and I'm going to play with it and kind of get the action even more broken in but yeah secure there is no blade play on this blade you can wiggle move up and down and this thing it feels like a fixed blade it really does it's that secure so you again you can use the access slot for opening and closing you can use the uh, thumb stud if you want to do it that way. Let's see, I'm kind of messing with it here now. Um, and I like that. It's fun to play with. It's fidgety. It's, uh, the pivot didn't have to adjust anything on that. When we close this and look at it, it's centered up nicely. Look at that, guys. It's really nice. Because the blade itself goes darn near right to the end. Stop pin up here. Have a little jimping up towards the top of the blade. When you put your finger up against there, it'll slide right up on it. 
You have a little jimping underneath for your index finger to lock in underneath. The rest of the handle here underneath on the underside is gonna be smooth around the back of the handle, all smooth in these areas. Nice geometry though and shape to give you a full grip on the handle, a nice large firm grip. This would work well with gloves as well. So whether you have your bare hand, you know, around here, gripping, or if you had gloves on, it's large enough, and I've got a large hand, so I have enough, you know, hanging out here to where if I had some gloves on, I'd really feel comfortable using this knife, whether it be outdoorsy, in pretty much any situation. You could do a lot of different tasks with this knife. This uh, is serious contender for being some type of, a, you know, almost a slash bushcraft knife. I would, in a heartbeat, take this out, go camping, spend some time in the woods, and I wouldn't be afraid at all to start doing some camping, um, chopping wood to a certain extent, smaller stuff, kindling, food prep, anything. I mean, this is pretty much a very... Uh, industrial knife that would be, I mean, useful in so many situations with the blade steel, the geometry, deployments, nice and easy, one-handed, opening and closing. So that jimping is going to lock you in here. It's going to keep your hand secure so it doesn't feel like you're going to slide up or scoot up towards the blade at all. You can reverse this. Put your thumb here at the top for control, strength. You're still going to have a nice feel in the hand. Lots of room wrapped around here so it fills your hand well. That's a really good feel. Control, no need to choke up on this thing. Just keep it right here and it feels great. You could move back a little bit if you needed more of a reach. Again, this is a black molded carbon fiber elite handle. Um, you've got some nice texture on here. See how they have the lines across the handle pattern on each side so that that gives you some added grip if your hand maybe was a little wet, cold, you know, gives you traction on here. I love the access lock actually. Very strong. I, I prefer it over any type of like a uh, liner lock, definitely, and a lot of frame locks. I The axis lock, I'm a fan. I jumped on board on that, uh, that wagon. You've got steel liners that run on both sides inside the carbon fiber handles here. We can take a look inside. I believe you can see inside that that is skeletonized. It's milled out. That's going to help us with our weight reduction, getting us down to that, what was it, five ounces, guys? So both sides, we can see that. But this gives it nice and strong support and strength across, the, well, throughout the knife. As you can see, it's, it follows everywhere. We've got uh, three um, standoffs here. little like barrel spacers. They're gonna lock in along the handle. We do have a lanyard hole for you guys and gals that enjoy sticking a little lanyard through there or a big lanyard through there, doesn't matter. You have that option. It, again, this way that it's done, it does not stick out, bulge out, or look awkward on the knife. I like if you're gonna have a lanyard hole how you can implement it into the design of the handle without having it look you know, crazy hanging out, you know, with a big bulge or something. Now, pocket clip, this is a reversible, so you can go left or right. It is only going to be for tip up carry. Uh, left, right, now the clip itself, deep carry, I, you know you're gonna lose it in your pocket about that deep. So you only have a small area that's gonna stick out. Also, one thing that's really nice about this pocket clip, 
which I'm fine with. It, you know, this really doesn't bother me if they had left it down a little bit further or up like it is. But if you look at the clip itself on this side, see how it has a little H here and that smooth area? When you flip the clip over, your clip will rest right here in this area. So it, it helps your pants. So you're not gonna tear them up going in and out. It's the same on this side. You can't really see it. But it, it does, it does the same thing. And I'm okay, like I said, I'm cool with that clip. I like it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it, guys, in a nutshell. Well, actually, we're not in the nutshell anymore. We busted out. Um, but this is the knife, the Benchmade Presidio 2 in carbon fiber elite handles. Just giving you more a little bit of a look on here and the design ergonomics of it. Great construction. I, this is a great price point on this knife. Um, I I believe you can get these right around 150. And for what you're getting, damn. All day, all night. I like it. If you have the need for this style or type of knife, if you like Benchmades, I'd definitely uh, score one. Go for it. There we go. Now in the pocket, I mean, it's not going to be, to me, huge. But it's going to be bigger than, than most carries that people have. Remember our pets, guys. Remember our vets. The little furry guys, the non-furry guys, the ones that give us all their love, all their attention, all the time. Anytime we're at home or we're around them. And then the people, the men, the women that gave everything for us to have our freedoms. Got to always love them up, guys. Love them up. You know, it... Uh, you can't have one without the other. It's the yin, the yang. I know we've got some hate going around, but we have love and we got to mix it all up. That makes the best soup. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. I'm crazy sometimes. But that's why we're here. That's why I continue to depend on you to be here. Be here with me. We're going to go forward. We're, we're plowing forward, guys. We're getting close to moving into being within a a reach of 300 at this point, and it is June 23rd of 2022. Um, thanks for taking the time to be here with me. Do me a favor, stay sharp, my friends, and until we meet again, which will be very soon, uh, if you're watching this, we've got exciting stuff coming up in the future here in the next few days as well. I'm going to be putting together uh, from this point. I'm going to have a few knives I'm going to throw out there for sale. I'm going to do that video. I'm going to try to this weekend. And uh, hit the like. Smash that. Go ahead and also subscribe. We want to continue to get this thing moving in the right direction together. We're going to do it. And uh, until I see you again, I'm out.